What is going on guys, it's the True Jack back again and we have some massive transfer news. The Swansea City have signed free agent from Bristol City, Corey Smith. He is a midfielder and um, a defensive midfielder. Obviously we can have attacking midfielder, left midfielder, right midfielder, defensive midfielder. But um, he is a defensive midfielder. Well, personally I think we've got too many midfielders in my opinion. Because we've got George Byers, Jay Fulton, um, Matt Grimes, we've got Celine and Dan, attacking midfielders. But Corey Smith is a defensive midfielder. And to be honest with you, I think it's a very good sign in my opinion because he's very experienced. He's 29 years old and um, I think he's a guy that is capable of putting in good tackles. Apparently, he's not afraid to put a tackle in. He also scored a very famous goal against Man United, which was a 2 win in the Carabao Cup to send him to the semi-final against um, Man City, if I have to believe. And he's the one who scored the 90th minute winner. And he's not afraid to put a tackle in, like I said. And I think he'll be a good defensive midfielder next season. And I think, um, do you think he should be ahead of Jay Fulton? Well, the thing is all about Jay Fulton. He's got strength and he's very tall, but Corey Smith is more experienced and he's not afraid to put a tackle in. So, to be honest with you, I think I would prefer Corey Smith alongside Matt Grimes as a defensive midfielder because he can help the young players out. Like Andre, he's been helping the young players out this season and he's developed like Rian Bruce, who's got 11 goals, I think. He wants to stay Liverpool next season challenge into the first team, but... It'd be nice to get him back. It'll also be nice to get Conor Gallagher back as well. But I can't complain about signing Corey Smith. But apparently we got more transfer news coming up. Freddie Woodman is set to join on another loan. That's good news for us. Also, we don't have a goalkeeper apart from Stephen Bender, Josh Gore. But um, Freddie Woodman, he is meant to be joining on another loan from Newcastle United. Apparently he's meant to be signing a new four-year deal with them. And he's going to join after he signs a four-year deal. So... Um, yeah, guys, pretty good news. In the last few days, we're making a couple of signings. Well, Corey Smith is a good sign, in my opinion, just because of um, experience and he's not afraid to put a tackle in. And hopefully, we sign more players like Corey Smith. Well, Lyle Taylor was a target, but he's gone to Nottingham Forest. And Freddie Woodman was Celtic's target as well, um, alongside Lyle Taylor, actually. But um, looks like we've beaten Celtic to sign Freddie Woodman. And it's been pretty good three days in a transfer window for us. Hopefully, no departures, Andre. It'd be nice to see him stay, but... I understand he is a Premier League quality player. And I'm not surprised that no one's put a bid in for him yet. So hopefully it stays, to be honest with you. Not long before the season starts. Hopefully we can get newcomers. Hopefully we can sign more players. And um, yeah, guys, I'm really looking forward to what Corey Smith brings next season. And if you want to see more content, make sure you like this video, subscribe to Important Notifications. And yeah, I should not be uploading long before. I should not be uploading that long after this video is uploaded because Freddie Woodman. And yeah, peace.